At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. This presentation is all about modelling break-even inflation, um, a topic which is increasingly important in the current environment as inflation appears to be on the rise in a number of economies. So what we want to do is to generate a measure of zero coupon inflation. Now this provides a measure of inflation between two very specific dates, makes no assumptions about intermediate events or cash flows. It's often referred to as break-even inflation. So just looking at a standard uh, index-linked bond, we know that the price of a nominal bond is just um, the sum of discounted cash flows, where cash flows here incorporate them. OK, so let me just illustrate the problem that we have. Let's say we have two bonds in the market, both bonds maturing in three years' time, paying annual coupons. So the price of the first bond then, if we just write it down, uh, call it P1, is equal to the cash flow on the first bond, cash flow at time one, uh, and I'm going to call it C11 because that's the first cash flow from the first bond. Then we could do the same thing for the things that multiply by A2, like this. So you can see C11 multiplied by uh, F1 um, at, sorry, F2 at time one, plus um, C12 multiplied by F2 at time two, plus but now we're only looking for two unknowns. That's A1 and A2. OK, so you can see from what I did on the board that we've got our two bonds with three cash flows each. Um, and we can't work out exactly what. OK, now we need to say something a little bit more about these mysterious B splines. So let me just illustrate. If we take a time interval, maybe five periods like this. So we take zero and time one, two, we have four non-zero B splines. So we just take an arbitrary point in the middle there. You can see there are one, two, three, and four of these which have non-zero values. And the nice thing about this then is that at each point in time there are, and again, I'm going to have to go back to the slides now just to give you a little bit more detail uh, about how we use these um, in practice. So now you've seen what these B splines or basis splines look like, and it's the third order B spline, the ones that piecewise cubic that we're going to use here. Um, you can see that they um, provide us with a very nice. Now, just looking at the results then uh, of some of this, you can see here that on this slide, um, we've got um, down at the bottom a real term structure, real interest rates. Um, Why is break even inflation different when derived from swaps and bonds? Ah, well, this has um, been a feature of the US market for a while. We've had a very big gap from implied inflation from tips and, and in implied inflation from the swaps market. Um, basically, bonds and um, swaps.